Hey guys, so a few notes I want to add to um, questions that involve geometry series. My first tip is to always write down every formula. For example, I will say that the general position term un is always a times r to the power n minus 1, where a is the first term and r is the common ratio. We also need to know that the sum of the first n terms, which is um, a times 1 minus r to the power n, all over 1 minus r. And lastly, we need to know the sum to, of infinity. So sum of infinite number of terms, which is just a over 1 minus r. That's it. If you know all of this, then you can pretty much smash every question. So let's have a read. So according to 1, a geometric series has first term a and common ratio r equals 3 quarters. So effectively, you can simplify a lot of these. The sum of the first four terms is of the series is 175. So this means the value of S4 is 175. So that will be useful for this SN equation. Show that a equals 64. Well, well, this is quite easy actually. All you literally do is just plug in the value r here and plug in the value n, which is 4. Replace S4 with 175 and boom, solve for a. So therefore, we're going to therefore have, so we can say for S4, we have 175, and this is also equal to the equation up here, which is a times 1 minus r, which is 3 quarters, to the power n, which is um, 4, because it's the fourth term, over 1 minus 3 quarters. And now all you do is just isolate this. So to make your life easy, I mean, you could go ahead and solve this, but I would just divide it all across. So I don't and make a the subject. So making a the subject, we're effectively going to have 175 over everything you see here. Which is 1 minus 3 quarters to the power of 4 all over 1 minus 3 quarters so make sure you put all of this in the calculator exactly as you see it and if you do it you should get an exact answer of do 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 64 that's it you don't necessarily need to share everything this is enough and you can just put input this in your calculator and that's it right easy literally as easy as that now part b Find the sum to infinity of the series. Well, the sum to infinity is just a over 1 minus r. So plug in the value a, which is 64. Plug in the value r, which is 3 quarters. Smash as your calculator. And you should get an exact answer of 256. Done. So easy, really. Now, C. Find the difference between the ninth and the 10th terms of the series. Okay, so find the 9th and 10th terms. Give your answers to two, three decimal places. Well, you could write this in any order. You just have to find practically um, un uh, or u10 minus un or uh, u9 minus u10 or u10 minus u9. Just the difference between them. So whatever the difference is, make sure the final result is positive. If you get negative, just just make it positive because that's the actual total difference. So here, so for part C, we can just say u10 minus u9 doesn't make a difference. The value of u10 using the general formula is a r to power n minus 1. So it's going to be a, which is in the first term, which we found, which we found out was 64, times r, which is 3 quarters, to the power of n minus 1, which is 10 minus 1, which is 9. And all of this minus the same thing, but to the power of 8. And well, when you do this, it's, you're pretty much done. The answer should be, well, in my case, it looks like I'm going to get a negative answer. You should get minus 1.602. If you did a, if you did it the other way around, you get a positive answer. But either way, you would say in words the difference between them is 1.602. And that's it, guys. That should wrap you up with full marks.